there, sugars. Okay, so summertime is coming up, and I just recently did my hair because I wanted to see the progress that I was making from the last video when I said my hair was laid like Cynthia's doll. My hair is making progress. I still have some issues going on in the back, but overall this last time that I did my hair and I, I blow dried and flat ironed, I was, I was very happy with the progress my hair was making. With that being said, I still don't feel like doing my hair. So, I'm gonna be wearing wigs, and I got um, this really beautiful curly wig from By Lace Wigs that I'm going to do a review on. But before I do that, I wanted to show you guys what I am currently wearing. And as you can see, I got on my hair, and it's this cute hat of Um, It's called the Fab Fringe, and it's from Sensational, and it's a bump wig. Look. See? Bump wig. It's out of focus. Who cares? Um, so anyway, like, it's summertime. It's starting to get hot. It's Georgia. It's already hit 80. I'm telling you, it doesn't take long. And um, I was sitting around thinking, you know what? I don't want on the back of my neck a bunch of hair. So I decided that I was going to try out some short wigs. Now, short wigs, for me, require a lot more playing around than the long wigs do because my head, okay? I got this thing called a five head and it's hidden under all this lovely bang. And that's why I love this wig and I fully endorse it for people who have ginormous heads. If you have a ginormous head, get you a Halle Berry wig with a lot of bangs and cover it all up, okay? And then you can do this thing, although unfortunately I wore a leather jacket the other day and I look like Justin Bieber. But anyway, it's called the Fab Fringe because it's got all this lovely fringe and you can do whatever you want with it. And you can like, oh look, there's my wig cap. Hello, hi everybody. Um, and you can style it the way you want, but the thing about short wigs is you have to style them. You can't just take the wig and plop it on your head because you're gonna look like what? And nobody wants to look like what? But there's not a lot of cutting that you have to do. I pulled this right out of the package, put it on my head, brushed it around a little bit, and I didn't have to cut anything. It, this is just the way it came. And it looks so good. If you look up Fab Fringe Wig on YouTube, and a whole bunch of videos are gonna pop up, it looks good on everybody. So let me show you my big old profile, my big giant side of my head, so you can see. Oh, my laptop is about to die. But, you know, you pull it down however you got to pull it down. I have a lot of hair and I did not corn roll my hair up under this wig. Because I am lazy and because I didn't like the way my hair turned out, I just put it in a ponytail. Oh, my hair is in a ponytail underneath this wig. Which is why the back of my head looks so giant and swollen. But you know what? That is a sign of youthfulness in Korea. It's called back head. Look it up because I spent way too much time on Google last night and I found that out. A billion people are gonna ask you, why'd you cut your hair when you wear this wig? They're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I love your short hair. And you're gonna be like, thank you, because there's nothing else you can say. So I don't just have one wig for you today, I have three wigs for you today. And I'm going to be right back, because I gotta go get the other wig right there. Check it out. All right. Okay, the second wig that I have for you guys today is called Erin, and I got this crazy color, OM2730613. This particular wig, here's how she looks. This particular wig is by Equal, Free Trust, and this is the picture that they give you. And you know these wigs never look like the model. I don't know what they do to her, but these wigs never look like that. So let me put her on. She's got adjustable straps in the back. You know, y'all know, you know. Okay, so this is Erin. Girl, she is giving me. We don't need no haters. Trying to love one another. So this is Aaron, and Aaron is up to no good, baby. This is like, 
You got five dollars for the fish fry on Friday here. I kind of like it. <laughs> See, I thought I was gonna look like Nene. Y'all already know. You know, three people who already have this hairstyle. Don't trip. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. Shame the devil. Oh. Yes. Okay, so this is Aaron. There's so many things you can do with this hair. You can actually do some elegantness with this wig. I like it. I like it. By golly. Anyway, let me show you that. I hate the fact that I didn't like do what I was supposed to underneath this because now all these wigs are gonna look crazy in the back. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, see? I have no idea what this looks like. It might look a hot, steamy mess, but honey, who cares? <laughs> I didn't do my hair. Okay, so this is Erin. Mary J all the way. I remember that commercial Mary J did about them chicken strips. They yanked that mess so quick. That stuff wasn't even on television for a day. Crispy chicken! Anyway, this is Erin. So the last wig that I have to share with you guys, this is also a free dress equal wig. It's called an in-style wig, shake and go hair, and it is Bessie. Ah, snap. Bessie, this is in a number two, and I can already tell there's some foolishness afoot. Okay, now this wig says that it's curling iron safe. Well, I think Bessie is kind of like old school mommy wig. Y'all remember the mommy wig everybody and their mama was wearing that came out. So, I guess you could just play with her and make her do what you want her to do. That's what you gotta do with wigs, you know? Sometimes I give up too early on short wigs because Lord, I've bought a ton of short wigs and I've never felt like any of them worked out, but I also like just putting my own. Now you know this is a church mother at First Episcopalian Baptist Church of the Holy Ghost. Right here. I need a comb. Okay. I feel like I'm in Dream Girls and I just want to turn my wig back. So this is a very this is a more mature style, but I kind of like the old Hollywood glam aspect about the finger wave situation. And it's it's curling iron safe, which means that if you hate these weird little bumps that's going on, you can do something about it. But I tend not to use heat on my synthetic wigs just because that's trauma. It's kind of like Betty Boopus. Boop, boop, beetle, boop. But you know, darling, she could be very elegant as well. You could wear her to a dinner party. Okay, that's enough. Clearly, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Trying something different for summertime. Uh, maybe wanted to try some short hair. Although, for some reason, none of these wigs have very secure combs, which I don't appreciate. I need security, because what if I decide to go to King's Dominion or something this summer? I don't want my wig flying off and hitting the kid in the background. That would be embarrassing. But. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching me try on um, my wigs and I'll leave uh, in the description box below more information about where I purchased these wigs and I will talk to you guys later. Ta-ta darlings.